From Danish Dreamer to Football Phenomenon, it's been a remarkable journey for Copa Trophy nominee Rasmus Hoyland. You might know him as the other Holland on the pitch, but his extravagant Danish lifestyle outside of football has shocked more fans than his amazing left leg. From his early childhood to his expensive properties, lifestyle, and net worth, this is Rasmus Hoyland's lifestyle. Rasmus Winter Hoyland was born on February 4, 2003, in Copenhagen. He was raised in a close-knit family in Horsham, capital region, with his parents, Anders Hoyland and Kirsten Winter. His two brothers, Emil and Oscar Hoyland, both of whom are twins, are also a big part of his story. The three siblings are footballers today, but when they were kids, their parents would always make sure that they attended the matches of their favorite football team, FC Copenhagen. Inevitably, the siblings fell in love with the sport. Their father had to build a pitch below the basement of their house, so they wouldn't end up destroying everything in the living room. Rasmus was exceptionally skilled, and not just in football. He engaged in many other sports, like swimming, tennis, and badminton. The prodigy also participated in school races. That was when he knew he was incredibly fast. He probably got those genes from his father. Rasmus' childhood was filled with hours spent playing football in the backyard with his father, who was a footballer himself. He played for the Danish football club Volkloven and was once their captain. Rasmus' mom was no slouch either. She was a well-known 100-meter sprinter, so it's no surprise that their kids are beasts on the field. Rasmus Hoyland had the training, the love, and the support while growing up, so he had to consider the next step, becoming a professional footballer. Rasmus Hoyland's football journey began when he joined the local football academy, Horsham Uzerod, at the age of four. He didn't particularly stand out until age nine when he won his first trophy. Those days after training at Horsham Uzerod, Rasmus would join his younger siblings, Emil and Oscar, for a quick game in the basement. During that same period in 2012, he met his mentor, Nicholas Bentner, the former Arsenal forward. He would always tag along whenever Nicholas was going for his training sessions in an eastern Danish port city, Helsinger. Hoyland eventually moved to Brøndby IF in 2015. Unsurprisingly, his dedication and talent quickly caught the eye of the coaches, and by the time he was 13, Denmark's largest club, FC Copenhagen, reached out to him. He spent some time at Holbeck FC before joining his peers at Copenhagen's academy. The footballer made a name for himself, and even though he was initially utilized as a substitute, it wasn't long before he rose through the ranks. In 2020, Rasmus made a significant leap in his career by signing with the team, making his debut for the club at the age of 17. During his time in the Danish Superliga, he scored five times in 32 appearances, and his impressive performances as a striker earned him recognition as one of the most promising talents in Danish football. Hoyland has often been called the other Holland on several occasions. In January 2022, he signed with Austria's Sturm Graz for a reported fee of 1.8 million euros. Hoyland scored 12 goals in only 21 appearances for the club, but the news about his potential must have gotten out because the Serie A club Atalanta came calling just seven months into his time with Sturm Graz. Hoyland signed with Atalanta in a deal worth 17 million euros. He wasted no time in breaking into the starting lineup and would go on to score 10 goals in 34 appearances for the Italian side. After spending only one season in Italy, Manchester United came calling this time, and they splashed an initial 64 million pound fee plus 8 million pounds in performance related add-ons to get the Dane on a five-year contract with the option of another year. Hoyland has already made his debut with United, but it's still early days in the English Premier League, so it will be interesting to see if he lives up to the hype. It's interesting to know that the Scandinavian idolizes Cristiano Ronaldo. Rasmus recently posted the Portuguese player's picture on his Twitter account, celebrating Ronaldo's 850th career goal. His support for Manchester United in his early years was mainly because Ronaldo was on the team. According to him, once Ronaldo had transferred to Real Madrid, he moved the support to the Spanish team. On the international stage, Hoyland has earned six caps so far for Denmark since making his debut in September 2022. But how about we step aside from football for a moment? Hoyland met his partner, Laura Rod Sundergaard, during one of his matches. The couple was spotted kissing moments after Rasmus's match against Finland in the Euro 2024 qualification game where he scored a hat-trick. The score was 3-1, and after he netted the third goal, he formed an L with his fingers, probably representing Laura. The two youngsters are around the same age, with Hoyland being a couple of months older. Apparently, they don't live in the same country, but in a recent interview, the Danes said they're fine with long distance and can make it work. Anyway, when he wasn't scoring hat-tricks and showing off on the pitch, you'll probably find Hoyland going on vacations, particularly to African holiday destinations. 
His favorite spot is somewhere in Tanzania, Chihuahua Beach in Zanzibar. The Danish forward is known for his down-to-earth lifestyle, and he seems to have a rather modest perspective towards life. Hoyland enjoys spending his free time with family and friends, often returning to horse home to refuel and recharge. With over a million followers on Instagram and a couple of thousands on Twitter, Hoyland enjoys sharing his experiences on the pitch with his fans on social media. The 20-year-old doesn't have so much to flaunt right now except for his skills, of course. And that kind of makes sense because his career is just getting started, really. While it might be a little surprising to see a footballer like the Dane, with no expensive car collection or luxurious penthouse in London, it's perfectly understandable that he's taken it slow. The lad just started rolling with the big boys. It is likely that he'll find a house or an apartment to settle in Manchester in the coming months. Hoyland doesn't sport any tattoos on his body, seems like he prefers to ink his memories on the pitch. You might be a little surprised to know that Hoyland's net worth is probably around $5 million. He earns £85,000 weekly at Old Trafford, which brings his annual income to almost £4.5 million. That's a significant boost in his paycheck because in Atlanta, Rasmus earns €17,000 per week and €885,360 annually. Apart from his partnership with Nike, we don't know of any high-profile endorsements or sponsorships at the moment. But it's only a matter of time before we see those additional sources of income for the youngster. While Rasmus hasn't yet put himself out there, like some of his peers who are philanthropists with big hearts, we want to believe that he cares for the less privileged. He is still young and trying to make a name for himself. Hopefully in the near future, he'll show active support for various charitable organizations. So far, Rasmus Hoyland has managed to steer clear from major controversies, but did you know that he once got banned from carpooling to training during his time at Atalanta? His manager seemed to not buy the idea of two teammates driving together because he felt like they could just sit and talk, get distracted, and get carried away. But seeing that Hoyland was no driver at the time, the decision kind of sounded a little ridiculous. No doubt, he'll be happy to have a little more freedom in Manchester. There was also a recent incident during Manchester United's recent 3-1 loss to Arsenal. Casemiro grabbed onto his shirt and looked to be encouraging him the same way club legend Roy Keane would, but some fans thought that there was more to it. Rasmus revealed in an interview later that Casemiro was just showing appreciation for his defending work prior to the incident. The Red Devils faced stiff competition for Hoyland's signature during the summer transfer window. French champions Paris Saint-Germain tried signing the 20-year-old, but as appealing as the offer from PSG was, Hoyland had already made up his mind. He wanted Manchester United. Despite enduring a series of disappointing seasons, following the departure of legendary manager Sir Alex Ferguson, the club's ability to attract and secure the talents of promising young players like Hoyland shows their relevance on the European stage. So, how well do you see Hoyland performing for the Red Devils?